Good day, folks. Welcome back to the channel. Okay, what do you got? This is a Picasso. Sweet. It is a pretty nice piece. It's for sale. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's in great shape. No tears, no blemishes. Cool. Yo, what's happening, hey, dude? What's I'm just fixing to buy this Picasso right here. What? I'm about to buy this Picasso. Talk to Rick for me. This is a Picasso we were going to bring in to put in the new gallery. How much you want for it? Well, it appraised for nineteen five. We're looking to get about sixteen. Uh, let me talk to Chop real quick. Don't pay more than eleven thousand. Period. All right, I got. That's a good deal. Don't screw this up. The eleven thousand dollars for it and bring it to the pawn shop. Today we will show you expensive art pieces on Pawn Stars. I have these original mixed media postcards by. Basket, I'm looking to sell. Well, that's a mouthful. <laughs> do you have any paperwork from who you got them from or where he got them? I do not have paperwork. Okay. So the big question is, how much you want for them? Thirty-eight thousand a piece. Okay. You have something from someone very, very famous, and you have no paperwork. It deeply concerns me. This is Scott Ferguson. Our Scott was actually a personal friend of Basquiat's back in the day. This one has paint on it, obviously. It has pastel in the background. These are, are the typical tools that Basquiat uses, and the lettering looks correct to me. So these have all the right elements. You think they're real? I think they're 100% correct. I'd put these in the neighborhood of about $50,000 a piece. Andy Warhol paintings. Andy truly invented pop art back in the 60s. We've got uh, four original Warhols. He more or less invented pop art. I think it was done in the 60s. I think it was his earlier work. When did these get damaged? I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. You see all the water damage on this. That does hurt the value. What were you looking to do with them? I was looking to sell them, and I was asking about 8,000 each. Let me have someone look at it. I don't know enough to know that this is actually an Andy Warhol. All right, thank you. They have a bit of water damage, which might affect the price, but Rick's gonna bring an expert anyway way to check them out. What I'm looking for is to try to determine exactly what's original and what might be part of a print. These are actually part of a print. He was one of the first artists to really do mass produced original and that appears to be what these are. So do you think he actually did it or someone from his factory? I think these are authentic. I think these are hand done by Mr. Warhol himself. Nice. The signature too, as far as I'm concerned, looks spot on. And how much has the damage affected the value on them? You know, the art market's soft. Value-wise, I think $10,000. Really? Go up. These are authentic and probably worth $10,000 or a bit more. So let's see how this turns out for all of them. What are you thinking? 20,000. I'm really thinking more like 32. How about 25,000? How about 27? You got a deal. All right, 27,000. All right, all thank right. you. They were able to make a deal for $27,000 for all of them. Keith Haring Art. Speaking of pop art, a guy came into the shop with some Keith Haring artwork. This type of art is my favorite. This guy did his research and hopes to walk out with a big pile of money. I have Keith Haring artwork. Okay, cool. If they're real, it's mega cool. It really is. I mean, he sort of created this weird little genre, and when you look at it, you think of a herring. Yes. He drew on everything. Chairs, driftwood, anything. I mean, the guy is an icon. I love it when I have a recognizable artist like herring in my shop. And how much do you want for him? 75000 let me have someone check these out, and if he says they're legit, we'll do something. Keith Haring's art really made a big social impact back in the 80s. When the expert comes in, he quickly realizes that these are great, in good condition, and 100% authentic. These are great. When you see a Keith Haring, you know it's a Keith Haring. It got started as a tagger, and he took a lot of pride in coming up with these really simple, but yet really iconic and identifiable figures. Radiant baby, the three-eyed, smiley face, the snake. Very unique. It's so do you think they're real? It's definitely not a print. It's definitely a one of a kind. Now, I'm looking at the signature, and it looks pretty good. I think they're legitimate herring originals. Okay, so what do you think they're worth? I could see them in a gallery in New York in the forty dollars to $50,000 range. Each. Each. Yes. They're worth like $40,000 each. Rick's got to make money, so $75,000 is out of the question. Okay, so I'll give you forty-five dollars for them. 50000 and they're yours. Easy ten thousand dollars in your pocket. I'll go forty-eight grand, uh, not a penny more. Forty-nine thousand? No. All right, deal. Okay, they were able to seal the deal for forty-eight thousand dollars. Goat skull Picasso. This day, Chum Lee takes matters into his own hands when he's sent on a mission to get a picture frame, and he stumbles onto a goat skull Picasso painting that's selling for sixteen thousand dollars. Okay, what do you got? This is a Picasso. Sweet. It is a pretty nice piece. It's for sale. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's in great shape. No tears, no blemishes. Cool. So you don't mind if I try to buy this thing? Not at all. You know, I'm gonna have to call it the big boss. Okay, by all means. Picasso was probably the most recognized and important artist of the 20th century, famous for pioneering cubism and abstract expression. 
truly a genius. But let's see what Rick has to say on the matter. Yo, what's happening, hey, dude? What's I'm just fixing to buy this Picasso right here. What? I'm about to buy this Picasso. Talk to Rick for me. This is a Picasso we were going to bring in to put in the new gallery. How much you want for it? Well, it appraised for nineteen five. We're looking to get about sixteen. Really? Yep. Uh, let me talk to Chum real quick. We'll pay more than eleven thousand. Period. All right, yeah, I got. That's a good deal. Don't screw this up. The eleven thousand dollars for it and bring it to the pawn shop. All right, no problem. He wants Chum to be able to make an offer of no more than eleven thousand dollars. It wasn't hard for him to make a deal and convince them to take eleven thousand dollars, and he killed two birds with one stone. How about nine thousand? Sorry, it's a Picasso. Fourteen five. Ten five. What about twelve? And ten five is what I'm gonna offer. Eleven? Then I'll do eleven thousand. All right. You got a deal. You got to bring it on down to the pawn shop, though. Wonderful. Picasso lithograph. A Picasso lithograph could be incredibly valuable, and this must be one of the few times I've seen someone looking to pawn their items. He hopes to get twenty thousand dollars out of it. We got my Picasso. All right. Wow. This was originally given by Picasso to my grandfather. Do you have anything to go with it? Any paperwork, anything like that? No, I don't have any, like, letter of provenance or anything like that. What were you wanting to do with it? I just wanted to pawn it for right now. Okay. With the range and price on these things, I'm gonna have to have somebody come in and take a look at it. Okay. What happens with Picasso is some of his artwork is $50,000, and others could be 300 bucks. So the price range is huge. Let's see what the expert has to say on this. Picasso, huh? Yeah. This is what you called me about? And this is yours? Yes, it is. Wow, this is interesting. It's, it's like an etching, but it's done on linoleum. And that would be indicative of the kind of work he would be doing around the late 1930s, early 1940s. Wow. Based on everything I know about Picasso and what I see here, I feel that this is an authentic Picasso image. What would you appraise that? I think we could be looking at in excess of $100,000. Excellent. All right, man, appreciate it. Based on everything he sees, this is authentic and could be worth $100,000, which means he probably gets what he's asking for. You said you wanted to pawn it. Yeah. How much are you looking to get? As close to 20000 as you can get me. You know you're going to have to pay it back. Oh, yeah. I'm going to charge you interest. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, you got a deal, man. Chum will write you up. Excellent. He did get the $20,000. Hopefully, he gets back to pick it up. Otherwise, the shop will make money off it. Gene Michael Baskate's Postcards. A guy came into the shop with a couple of mixed media postcards by Gene Michael Basker. What's even more shocking is that he wants $38,000 for each. That's 114,000. I have these original mixed media postcards by Basquiat I'm looking to sell. Well, that's a mouthful. <laughs> do you have any paperwork from who you got them from or where he got them? I do not have paperwork. Okay. So the big question is, how much you want for them? 38,000 a piece. Okay. You have something from someone very, very famous and you have no paperwork. It deeply concerns me. These postcard paintings are worth a lot of money if they're real. So I've called in Brett, he's my art expert. Maybe he'll know. Someone's got to check them out before making any rash decisions. I brought reinforcements today. This is Scott Ferguson, our Hi. executive director. How you doing? Okay. Scott was actually a personal friend of Basquiat's back in the day. Scott, if you want to jump you. in and lend your expertise. This one has paint on it, obviously. It has pastel in the background. These are, are the typical tools that Basquiat uses. And the lettering looks correct to me. So these have all the right elements. You think they're real? I think they're 100% correct. Okay. And what do you think they're worth? The fact that these are in such good condition, I'd put these in the neighborhood of about $50,000 a piece. Sure thing, they are authentic and in great condition. Could be worth like $100,000, but this is a pawn shop. You can't expect to get the retail price. What's your best price on these? I still like to get $38,000 a piece from. The only way I'm gonna risk it is give you 50 grand. I know it's for the entire lot, because I'm looking at massive risk here. I'll be willing to do $30,000 a piece. I can't do it. That's a tough one, 50 grand. Let's do it, 50 grand. All right. I think Rick will be able to make a great profit off of them. Jimi Hendrix prints. The art expert called Rick to come check out something in his shop that he knows Rick will be interested in. Rick's a pretty big Hendrix fan, and these are Jimi Hendrix prints. So what do we got here? Vintage Jimi Hendrix photographs. How in the world did you get photos like this? I was a photographer. Seriously? That's why I'm all great. He was only on the American rock scene for two years. That two years changed changed rock and roll for the next 40 years. A bunch of never before seen photos would drive some collectors nuts. So these are all from the original negatives? They look to be from the original negative to me. I don't recognize any of these images of this having ever been published. That's incredible. What I would really like to do is be able to put a lot of these in my store. I think they would sell like hotcakes. 
I've never seen photos like this. And not only, but also the gentleman was actually Jimmy's photographer. Jimi Hendrix was only on the American rock scene for two years and managed to change rock and roll history for the next 40 years. I'm gonna pick out a stack of what I think are the best images and make him an offer. It's always cheaper when you buy in bulk. What do you think photos like this would go for? Now you haven't marketed any of these shots. That's right. Do you have like a certificate of authenticity that you're doing that documents the, the process? Very good, right there. But I could see a piece like this selling twelve to $1,500. And these ones right here? The smaller ones, seven dollars $800 range, I would say. This deal has to be the right pictures for the right price. I got 28 photos here. Make the offer. For this pile right here, I'll give you $10,000. These are worth at least 20. What about 12? Nobody's seen them. They're unpublished. 18. I I'm really seeing like 14,000. It's my heart and soul. Come on, we're gonna make a fortune. 15. Got a deal. They were able to negotiate and seal the deal for $15,000. Peter Max painting. When Rick saw this painting in his shop, he quickly assumed it's Peter Max. And guess what? He was right. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how you doing? I'm just assuming it's a Peter Max. That it is. <laughs> he loved comic books when he was a kid. That's why he sort of liked this art. And in the 70s, he started doing a Statue of Liberty. Peter Max has a very distinctive style and he's still popular today. His work has been known to sell for over $100,000. If this thing is real, it would be a great item in my shop. So you want to sell this? Yeah. I mean, it's been selling it, yeah. How much are we looking to get out of it? Trying to get about 35000 Whoa. Whoa. Um, this looks like it's an original and all that. And you got paperwork with it? Yeah, I do have paperwork. Okay. okay. Can you hang out for a little sure, bit? Sure, absolutely. Uh, I'm going to go give someone a call. This was originally painted in 2010. It's a statue of Liberty Painting. He had such a distinctive style, and he's still popular to this day. If this is real, it could really be great for the shop. This guy hopes to get $35,000 for it. The art expert came down and checked it out. This is it? This is a nice work. What I'd like to do is just take a closer look. The image of the Statue of Liberty would be a lithograph. I don't think that's the case with this one. I think the visage was applied with a stencil, and then he added the acrylic, all the different colors. Uh, it's definitely an original, and it's it's certainly a one-of-a-kind. The good news is this is a fairly iconic image. The bad thing is, you know, he's done a lot of them. The other thing is he's, he's still a living, working artist, so he's producing more of these. You might see this same work for $50,000. They're so prevalent, you might find the same work selling for $10,000 on the internet. I I think an appropriate value for a work like this would probably be in the, the $25,000 range. This is an original and certainly one of a kind, probably worth $25,000 for it. I mean, what would be the best price you'd take? I'm pretty firm on my, on my $35,000 price. I mean, I'll give you 10 grand. <sighs> Can you do 15? I'll go 12 grand. And if it doesn't sell, it's my problem, and you walk away with cash. All right, you got a deal. Sweet, man. So they were able to settle for $12,000. U.S. Marine Corps War Memorial Sketch. Last but not least, this is an original drawing of the sculpture of the Iwo Jima Memorial. So what do you have here today? It's an iconic piece of history. It's an original drawing by the sculpture of the Iwo Jima Memorial. Hey, Rick! I'm right here. I'm sorry, your bald spot was blinding me. It's who did it? Felix D. Weldon. Who's that? He's the one who did the island of Iwo Jima, one of the most important battles of World War II. That's who the guy is. Hey, Rick. How you doing? Good, what are you doing here? The old man asked me to look at some police badges. Okay, well look at this. Okay. Rick has an opportunity to own a piece of history of what became Washington's World War II Memorial. And we know that Rick is a World War II fan. The whole story behind the image itself is just amazing. So how much are you looking to get out of this? 18,000. Do you think he was done by him? You're gonna have to have probably Brett come in or somebody that knows art. The whole story behind the image itself is amazing and probably the best known image of World War II, according to the expert. This is it. I'd like to take a real quick second and look at it under a loop. Sure. Real quick. It's definitely a graphite. However, the issue you get into with graphite is it's a little tougher to authenticate. Now, Alan, is this the paperwork yes. on the piece? Now, this SPQR fine art, I've not heard of them. So is it real? I'd say it's probably authentic. But again, especially when you hear what value I'm going to put on it, you might want more than a probably. It's his masterpiece. I'd probably put a value on this approaching $20,000. This guy wants $18,000, and lucky enough, this could be worth $20,000. I would pay you $15,000 any day of the week for this thing, but I need more. Okay. I just gotta see that first. And I'll get it for you. Okay. Well, have a nice day, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. But before Rick makes any deals, He's gotta get a certification of authenticity, so I hope he comes back. This is where we'll end our video. We hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure to comment, hit the like button, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for more videos like this. Share this video to your family and friends. See you soon.